Hello and welcome to this week's Angel Oracle card reading for week commencing the 15th of July 2024. My name is Ray and I'm a guide who helps you remember your divine presence so you can heal your past, find your purpose, create your future, to raise your consciousness, to walk onto your spiritual path, come out of that spiritual closet, to become the best that you are truly meant to be and take charge of your destiny so that you can spread your wings and soar. Now this week we're going to be using Work Your Light Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell. But as always before we get into this week's reading, I would like to say thank you so so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me to be able to be of service to you and for you to trust me enough to use my services. So thank you so so much. And with that in mind, you know, I do offer so many different things. Um, so do check out what, you know, what else I offer. Um, to help you and of course I'm going to be running um, Angelic Reiki workshops starting from September onwards and there's a future life progression training happening in October so do check those out so as always I'll give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless so what does everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good the week commencing the 15th of July 2024. What does everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school? The week commencing the 15th of July 2024. So let's see what cards want to come out to play today. So the cards we have got that have come out are... The crumbling, what are you clinging on to? Answer the call, what is your soul calling you to do? And boundaries, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay, so very interesting cards um, this week. So, so what they're saying to you is, you know, what are you clinging on to? What is holding you back? What is stopping you from moving forward? For you answering the call of what you are supposed to be doing in this lifetime. You know, what outdated thinking um, is holding you back? What people um, that really have no relevance in your life now, you know, how are they holding you back? How are you personally holding yourself um, back you know it's now time to let those walls crumble you know if you look around at the energy that's happening things are crumbling things are disintegrating allowing the new the positive to actually come through to shine its light and you are part of this so as part of the collective you know there is crumbling going on but it's not for you to be frightened of because there is new light coming in so what can you release what can you let go of to you know to answer that call about what you are here to do who you are meant to be you know what is your soul calling you to do you know what do you enjoy doing what do you love what did you enjoy doing when you were a child what can you bring in now that can be a positive um, impact not just on yourself but on people around you on the world in 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 in, in wideness you know what are you being called to do you know, and it's when you start letting those walls down, that crumbling, the old to start falling away and you start walking your talk, you know, being who you are supposed to be. That is where you put the boundaries up to stop those that, are, you know, there may be those that want to stop you moving forward. You know, it's not that they're doing it because they they don't want you to. It's because they have their own fears their own thinking and they want to see the best for you and they don't want to see you doing anything that 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 they feel might um you know not be for your best interest only you know what it what is for your best interest moving forward no one else does they can give you advice um that you can choose to listen to or not but what they what they're saying to you now is you know where do you need to establish boundaries? Is it with other people? 
is it with what you watch on the news, you listen to on the, the radio, you know, are they boundaries that you need to put up? How much time are you spending on social media? You know, are you, are you spending so much time on social media that you're not addressing what needs to come down, that you're not addressing what your call is, what you're supposed to be doing in this life. Maybe you need to put up some boundaries for that. Boundaries can be so many different things. Um, so what boundaries do you need to put up? You know, do you need to put boundaries up? You know, that will, will, will stop influences that are not for your highest good, allowing you to move forward because things are changing, you know, things are crumbling, things are falling away, but you can have control of that. If you're in control of what you're releasing to allow you to move forward, um, for you to step forward on the path that you want, that you know you should be doing, then you've got control of that. And that's where the boundaries come in so that, so that you do have the, the control on that. So really, really interesting cards this week. You know, this it really is the week where you need to really take that deep breath, go within, do the meditation, you know, really get an understanding what you need to release to let go of so that you can move forward to walk your path to be who you are truly meant to be and to allow those boundaries to surround you that will help you move forward in your light, whether those boundaries are people, media, anything else. This really is your chance to take control of your life and move it how you want it to move, how it's supposed to move for your highest good. So connect in, you know, do the guided meditations, find people that can help and guide you for your highest good and don't, the, who don't go beyond your boundaries and they allow you to expand. So really that's all the cards are saying to me this week. As always, this is my interpretation of the cards and you may get a completely different interpretation and that is absolutely fine. I draw these cards for what you need to know for your highest good. So if you do get a different reading or they make sense, um, or they don't make sense, then please do let me know in the comments or message me privately. I always reply to everyone who contacts me. So the cards again are the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? What can you now release to help you move forward, see that beautiful um, uh, space in front of you where you can really truly live and grow? Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? What are you supposed to be doing? Where are you supposed to be going? What is for your highest good? And boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? What boundaries do you need to create so that you can move forward without outside influence holding you back? So that was the cards this week. Um, as always, um, it's a pleasure doing them uh, for you. Um, and this week I'm holding an evening meditation. So Tuesday the 16th, um, online medita evening meditation, if you'd like to uh, join that. It's six pounds. Um, and yes, you can join me and other people online as I take you into a guide meditation. It's only 45 minutes. Um, but, you know, it can really help set you up um, for for the week uh, on there. And don't forget to check out my show Angels and Destiny, which if you're watching this on Sunday the 14th, is taking place on Monday the 15th. And if you're watching this on Monday the 15th and it's taking place this evening or it's taking or it's taking place in the evening. And if you're watching later in the week, then please do watch the replay. And hopefully my guest will be Kels Morris Dow. Um, so hopefully she will be my guest, um, which will be a fascinating conversation, or it might just be me. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Don't forget to check out what I do. And if you do need any help or guidance, um, you know, then you can arrange a free 20 minute video call with me to discuss where you are, where you want to go, anything that's going on in your life that you might need a little bit of guidance on. Anyway, have a wonderful week and I look forward to speaking to you next week. 
Take care. Bye.